Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to make my own uh, receiver for wireless receiver for my Xbox 360 uh, controller to go with my Raspberry Pi. Now, you can go buy one um, online. In my area, I can't just go buy one at the store. So to buy one online and wait till it gets sent here, and they're 10 to $20 depending on where you get them. And I'm not in the mood for waiting. Um, so another way to do this is to take, if you have an old Xbox 360, I happen to have three of them that are toast. Um, I save them for reasons like this. But you can take this power button RF receiver off the Xbox 360 and then you take a USB cord and you can you just cut off wherever you want lengthwise and you'll strip wires down and then you will solder them to these pins here starting here I forget which one I have to look at my diagram but you will um, I believe this one this one and this one um, but you need a diode to go from here to the one of the wires and I need a um, 5.1 volt diode which I don't have on hand and there's a long it's a longer distance to get to an electronics store around here that does have that the only electronics store I had in my area was Radio Shack and they just shut down recently so um, I took apart this old I had a clock um, radio CD player that I haven't used in a long time since you know our phones do everything for us now uh, took it apart hoping to find a diode, a 5.1 volt diode, and I did find one. There's a couple of diodes in here, and this one right here is the diode that I need so I don't have to go buy one. These are dirt cheap, but again, I don't, I can't get out to go get one right now, so I'm gonna steal this one off of this since I'm never gonna use this clock anymore. I just took it apart. So I'm gonna desolder this and then we will get back to connecting it to here with the USB cord in just a bit. Okay, so now I've got, <clears throat> I ended up using this cable um, because the other one I cut wasn't a 2.0. So it only had the negative and um, positive ground, black and, black and red. Um, so I had this iPhone cable that had a um, one of those magnetic deals in the other end and one of these lovely things but it's crap and it doesn't work it's chintzy I got another one from another company that works really well but this one didn't kept blinking in and out of charge so it's totes so I cut it and I got everything soldered on I've got my diode there 5.1 volts and and then the other ones the other three wires go on the next three pins so the first one is the diode with the red wire and then you have your white wire and then depending on what color you have um, I did the, the green and the black um, and the other guy uh, I saw this from had a blue wire and a um, green I think you had a I don't know Another way, different colored wires. So I've got these hooked up. Now I'm gonna try it and see what happens. If it doesn't work, then I most likely just need to switch the red, the green, and the black wire uh, to opposite sides. But I've got the red and the white in the right spot. So we will see what happens. Okay, here we are to test out on my computer. Um, got it plugged in, and I had to, I had to install some um, drivers on my computer to test it but just to test it on the computer, make sure that everything's working. This doesn't light up anymore. These lights don't light up. And I thought maybe that was because it's not working, but that's not the case. Uh, I was right with the green and black where they are. So everything's set up and I got my 360 controller. Um, I originally used the play to, um, play to charge cable um, to this thing here. You just plug it in the back of the controller, plug that in the computer, and then it initially recognized it. 
And then once that was done, I disconnected that and then powered this thing up and it automatically connected. And I can show you up on the screen that as I move the joystick around or I press the D-pad um, or any of the other keys, it is working. It is connected wirelessly. So this works fantastic. So now all that's left is to take this out of my computer and plug it in my Raspberry Pi and start playing some arcade games on RetroPie. Okay, so I have my Raspberry Pi uh, on my other monitor over here. Um, and I have the, I just got through setting up the um, controller here. So let's say close there. So now I actually have it. If I press on the D-pad right, you'll see that it scrolls through right and left. Everything is working. It's it's connected to my Pi right here, and it is working like a charm. So this little hack job does work excellent. If you have an old 360 lying around that isn't operational anymore, then make use of this and your controllers. So I am in heaven right now. If uh, this what helps you, then let me know. Thanks for watching.